Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new on my channel, then welcome. As you can see, I look crazy, um, or at least in my mind it looked crazy. So today's video is a kind of a special one because it's a beginning, hopefully, it's a beginning of a series. I do not consider myself to be an artistic person whatsoever. I usually think of my channel as something that is targeted towards the average consumer everyday makeup user, people who maybe struggle with their makeup a bit and they could use a few tips and tricks here and there and that's what I aim to do on my channel. I am not a makeup artist by any means so that's why this was kind of a weird concept for me at first. Um, it's something that actually a few of my girlfriends recommended, at least they kind of suggested towards trying out something a bit more funky, something out of the ordinary. This challenge idea was actually uh, an idea of a very good friend of mine. Her name is Rosemary, so if you are watching this, I love you. Um, so she was the one who actually said that I should try and start like a new series where I push myself out of my comfort zone and try and do looks that I do not normally create and that people don't normally wear. That's why I decided to call it a fantasy makeup challenge. I created this look with the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. So the fantasy series idea was actually a really good excuse for me to play around with the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette some more and dive into those really, really colorful eyeshadows. And hopefully if all goes well, I will come up with more sort of crazy, I wouldn't call them crazy, but you know, just kind of non-wearable looks. Hopefully you guys will like watching them and that's it. So the super long intro as per usual is officially over now. If you want to see how I did all of this, then just stay tuned. So first off, I wanted to show you how I ruined my palette yet again because I dug my fingernail in there somehow. And now it's ruined, but anyway. So the first shade that I'm going in with is the shade Silk Cream. And all I'm doing is I'm just running it in my crease, really blowing it out, um, kind of putting it everywhere. And then the next shade is Royalty, which I am at first very, very lightly putting down, just like a very, very sheer wash of color because I want there to be a gradient effect. And I, I just tried to make it a bit, well, a bit easier to blend out in the end. So I went in there with a very light hand at first and went back in with the fluffy crease brush just to diffuse the edges even more and make it look more seamless. And then I really packed on the color with a more dense brush and all I'm doing is I'm kind of outlining my normal crease shape. So yeah, it just kind of follows the natural crease shape of my eye. And then I'm going back over the whole thing with a fluffy crease brush um, just to, again, smooth out the edges. And going back into the Silk Cream shade, and I decided to add just a bit more because I feel like the shade kind of got lost under that purple there. And then I'm going back in with the <laughs> purple shade again and going over it with the fluffy brush again. It's just going back and forth a lot. That's all it is. Um, next, I'm taking the shade Twerk, which is a beautiful royal blue, um, but it does translate more on the purple side on the eyes, and it does, I think, that's that's the only color that I have an issue with. It's slightly less pigmented than the rest of the colors in the palette, so you really have to build it up to get the intensity that you want, but it does build up very nicely. And as you can see, the shades are not matte, they are satin. Um, I th well, the royalty shade is slightly more shimmery uh, than the shade Twerk. But I, I think it looks good with this eye look anyway. <laughs> so um, I just blended out the whole thing a bit more and I took the NARS Soft Matte Creamy Concealer. No, what am I saying? Soft Matte Complete Concealer, sorry. And I kind of cleaned up my lid, um, just trying to make almost like a cut crease effect. Um, but not a very clean one. <laughs> And then I went into the shade in light and I just packed that on my whole lid. Um, and then I took the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeliner in the shade Glam Rock and I just followed that natural crease line again.
And then I took the Rimmel Glamize Liquid Liner and all I did was that I outlined my lash line and created a tiny, 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 tiny wing, which you can barely see. It's, it's really, really tiny because, um, well, honestly, there wasn't that much space left. So that's, that's just all I did. I finished the rest of my face and applied some lashes off camera. Uh, all the details will be listed down in the description box uh, of the products that I used, so just make sure you go and check that out if you're interested. And then for the lash line, uh, sorry, for the lower lash line, I used the shade Jada. And I went in with the Catrice 18 hour color contour eye pencil up in the air. No, what am I saying? In the shade up in the air. Um, just to go over the whole waterline and I smudged those two together um, with a small pencil brush. And then I took the shade Pool Party and applied that only in the outer parts of my lower lash line, kind of where the eyeliner, the black eyeliner goes, just smudge that under there. And then I took the shade Beam, the one that I ruined, and I put that in the inner corners and on my brow bone. I took the MAC Full Slash Extreme Black Mascara and went over my bottom lashes. You guys already know it's my favorite one for the bottom lashes. Last but not the least, I took the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Palette Primary Color Number 5, the blue one, um, and I just, yeah, colored my lips with that because I thought it'd be a cool contrast to do, you know, with this kind of eye look. So that's it guys, this is the mermaidy, or at least I feel it's a mermaidy look um, that I created. I really, really hope that you liked it and if you did then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!